Welcome to Let's Play Discuss Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is Ron Moore along with Star Soldier and the J-Man. Hey! So, Yo, uh, I was pulling out there. <laughs> oh, I hate yeah, the freaking I hate ice. Guys. I hate the ice angels, whatever they're called. Yeah, I just come the laser dudes. Yeah. Or at the assholes. <laughs> yeah, really. There was the uh, green ball sack. <laughs> Here's the rofle copters. <laughs> ah, <laughs> who are these assholes? I don't know, man. I always wondered what's the. I forgot the best way to like, kill them without getting hit. Run. Uh, yeah. Watch out for oh. the flying testicles. Yeah, rofle copters. There's, uh, Texas mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so Techno Drone was freaking hard when I was a kid. And of course it's easy now. It's easy now because I'm cheating, but... <laughs> but yeah, I remember as a kid. you using Donatello. Yeah, well right here, I've always used Donatello right here because he's stupid rolling for poppers. I didn't need to get that pizza, but oh well, for old time's sake. Uh, oh, alright, welcome to Let's Play Dino Wars now. This is J-Man, along with Ron Moore. Oh man. <laughs> That's not I don't right. remember him from any episodes. <laughs> There's a Losa. I didn't the nerd to talk about him. <laughs> There's a Losasaurus. This is um this is way more interesting than Dino Wars. <laughs> yeah. Oh ouch. Now how do you get past right here? Without getting hit. <laughs> uh ECW mode. Yeah. Well I get hit but no energy's taken off. I think there's an alternate path, but I could be wrong. Oh yeah, I think there is. Oh, pfft. okay, that's where you rescue a turtle. That's where you take an alternate path. Yeah. Hey, this is the same song from, uh... Ah, what? <laughs> yeah, you same... need to bring out your uh, ocarina. Yeah. <laughs> the same sound, the same track right here from, uh, Stage 2, The Dam. Yeah, it's weird. Stage five had all new soundtrack, but for last stage, yeah, you come know, on, they, they just recycle it. Yeah, they really. just said, they said, damn it, <laughs> no kid yeah. is gonna get here. So, <laughs> yeah, really, <laughs> just oh. reuse the same old music. Yeah. Oh, that was the shredder. Nope. Oh, I always this... thought he looked like the shredder. Those boomerang uh, guys. Chuck Norris. Yeah, Rat Kings. Uh, yeah, I actually think they look more like the Shredder than the Shredder does in the actual game. <laughs> I always thought the end boss was kind of disappointing. Yeah. So keep on watching, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yes, turtle power. Yeah, now the Ice Angels ain't gonna do nothing. What? I think those purple guys... Um... They're, they're probably uh, the rock soldiers. Could be. No, the rock soldiers never never flew. Well, uh, you it's know. It's the neutrinos. Uh, Chuck Norris <laughs> threw boomerangs. Yeah. <laughs> the neutrinos. The noob trinos. Yeah, neutrinos. Oh, wait, I oh, thought... Oh, I hated this part <laughs> as a kid. I would get that? here and die. This final stretch. This yeah, I know. Stupid corridor. I know. Yeah. Those ice angels. Ah. Oh. This is the honeycomb hideout. Yeah. It's really bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh yeah, this part right is here. worse. Yeah, yep. this right here though. You stop right here and make can go back. Yeah, I would just always use the strolls or save up a lot of them and kill those robot guys right away. Yeah, I would usually save the scrolls right here, and but I accidentally got the uh, boom the boomerangs earlier. Oh, uh, you can't ECW that. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Warning! Ah, pfft. Oh, one ah. more? <laughs> and the song don't stop playing until the laser disappears. Alright, here we go. The final boss, Shredder. Cheesy lightning. Yeah. Use, I use the scroll right here, but he also used a Chinese star. He looks so cheesy there. Or maybe yeah. he looks more like the Shredder from Terminator Fighters. Yeah, I think so. Or the movie. <laughs> And he's the easiest boss in the game. Yeah. Yeah, the only callus is that if he hits you once with his laser, it's a game over. Or yeah. it's in life loss. It's in death, yeah. Turtle suit. You have to beat us right out and save the world. Now I can turn back to human form. No, don't do that. You lose your mutant powers. Whoa, Splinter was Gerald uh, Frisco? Uh, <laughs> what the heck? That's right, Mr. Matt Man, my turtles beat Shredder. That's not April. Was that? That's no. not April. No. She looks more like Splinter. <laughs> <laughs> the adventure, the cheat needs meeting his turtles is concluded. Lame. A lame ending. Game over. <laughs> a lame ending. Even though as a kid I was I liked it because I was happy I finally beat the game. Yeah. And, and at least of... you get to see Master Splinter out you chain, so that's cool. Yeah, I mean, you also got to see that in the cartoon, but... Once. Yeah, yeah. once or twice, maybe. I mean, but if this game is supposed to be based off the comic book, then Splinter, yeah. you know, Splinter was... In the comic book, Splinter was always a rat. He was never human. Mm -hmm. In the cartoon, he was human before Return to a Rat. But anyway... Yeah, I guess they realized that was too dark a storyline. Yeah. You know, the original Japanese guy, he got killed. <laughs> and yeah. brutally murdered or brutally murdered yeah and so that's the end of this LP of Teenage Beat Ninja Turtles for NES I liked this game when I was a kid um, a lot of people don't seem to like it and I can see that but I mean you know as a kid being a big Ninja Turtles fan I was one of the kids that also loved the game um, it's definitely not as good as uh, part 2 and 3 for the NES um, but I mean I really loved this one uh, you know, because being a, like a big fanboy pretty much back then in Ninja Turtles, I loved this game, and I played it with a lot of my friends, and so I had a lot of good memories with it. Um, I love the soundtrack in the game. The soundtrack's pretty cool, especially the uh, overhead levels and then the overhead night level in uh, Stage 4. Um, but as far as playing as each turtle, not, not much changes because, you know, it, the only thing that changes is the weapon. So playing as Raphael sucks because he has no reach. I mean, while... He's pretty much useless in the game. I mean, Leonardo and Donatello are the main ones to use. Michelangelo is kind of like, eh. Kind of like the same as Raphael. But, I mean, there's no, like, different moves. And I know it's pretty much the same. Well, like, in the, uh, I don't know, Turtles in Time, uh, I don't remember much about the arcade, the actual arcade cabinet uh, game of Ninja Turtles 2. But, um, the like, in Turtles in Time, you kind of have a little bit different moves, a little bit, with the, with the weapons you use for each turtle. And but on here it's like pretty much the same thing. It's like X Men for the NES. You, you know, you switch characters, but it's basically the same thing. You know, not much difference. Um, and so that's how it was playing the turtles in this game. But then again, I think it's kind of like who, who's your, whoever your favorite turtle is, you want to play as them. Um, but this game I loved when I was a kid, and uh, so for nostalgia purposes, I still kind of like it today. Um, but overall, um, I think. Uh, I might have to give this game maybe a 7 out of 10. If you're a Ninja Turtles fan, old school Ninja Turtles fan, and um, you know, and you want to go back and play this again, appreciate uh, uh, what it had to offer back then, even though it had a lot of stupid stuff in it. It's not not really that bad of a game. Much worse games out there. This game wasn't that bad, but it could have been a lot executed a lot better. But yeah, so I give this game a 7 out of 10. J-Man? Okay, first of all, April should have shown her tits. That's ridiculous. No, I'm kidding. Okay. Uh, for real, uh, just going off of what you're saying about, like, uh, like Raph and Mike not being as well as, uh, of course, Leonardo and Donatello. Well, you use those guys in the, uh, in the swimming stage, and, uh, you know, they're pretty much throwaway guys. You use those um, on, the, 
on the parts that you don't want to take a lot of damage uh, to your, you know, your good guys if yeah. you're not using ECW mode. <laughs> yeah. Um, otherwise, great game. Loved it as a kid. I can understand why people don't like it now as well. You know, was, uh, if you were playing it back when it came out, it was a different experience. You didn't have, like, PS3 and stuff like that to compare it to. Um, yeah. But I still think it's a great game. Awesome music. Good turtle experience. I, I like it better than the uh, than the arcade game that they put, you know, TMNT 2. I like uh, the first one better, um, in my opinion. Um, not, not saying the actual arcade game, just the one on NES. Anyways, 8 out of 10, good game. Yeah, all right. Star Soldier? Yeah, we seem to be pretty anonymous on this one because I actually kind of like the game too. Yeah, it does have its problems. The graphics, they're okay. The music, it's great in some areas. But, yeah, the gameplay can be very, very cheap. You have to make some very accurate jumps. The enemies take way too many hits. And unless you find the right you know, weapons and time everything perfectly, the game can be very tedious to go through. But... If you do manage to get through all its courts and everything, the gameplay, it's not too bad. <laughs> Ultra Games, Konami, they did a pretty good job here. They were able to take an uh, unfamiliar license to a lot of people and help sell it to <laughs> an all-new audience. Because, I don't know, maybe a lot of people were not too familiar with the comments or the show then. And, yeah, they just played the video game right off the bat. And <laughs> there's a lot in here, at least. Yeah, it doesn't follow the show too well. There's a lot of confusing enemies in here, like the AVGN would obviously <laughs> point out. And, yeah, there's going to be some comparisons. But, hey, unlike the AVGN, I, too, think the game was pretty good. <laughs> All okay. right. Yeah, so a lot of good weapons, great controls. I do like the fact that you can switch turtles on the fly. You go through that, you go to the pause menu, you switch a turtle, you have all new, you know, weapons that you can use. It's great, and I give the game a sixty free out of hundred. Yeah, I like some of the weapons. Like, well, mainly the scroll weapon. That's an awesome weapon to oh, use. Oh yeah. And the boomerang is pretty cool because you can like uh, throw them and then hit, you know, select a new turtle and then boomerangs come back to the other turtle, so you can restock all. Uh, make sure all your turtles are stocked up with boomerangs. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And but the ending sucked. The ending could have been better. And plus, it's kind of bittersweet. Like the music they added with it, and like Splinter turns human again, which I guess is good for him. But it's like, wait a minute. If you go back in the cartoon, <laughs> it, it makes him weaker, and he can't have his sense of smell that aided the turtles and all his powers he had before that, or whatever his quickness. And but oh well, the I ending could have been better. Would you want to be half rat human? Well, uh, I guess not, but when you're fighting Shredder, you have to be a LUT and uh, have a good sense of smell or whatever. And I just remember the episode, I don't know if this came out before the episode or what, but where Splinter was, uh, the formula failed, so he started to turn back to a rat anyway. And then you know, it really helped him to uh, help the turtles beat Shredder because, you know, if the turtles... Well, the turtles weren't human anyway. They would go back to just being turtles. But like Splinter, you know, like he said, he goes, if I turn human, my students, I would lose my sense of smell and, and, and all this stuff and all the beating, the, the quickness or whatever he had that helped aided the turtles in the past. And, I mean... Yeah, it, but <laughs> the thing is, he wasn't very helpful in the game. Oh, I oh, get yeah. captured on the third level or something. Now you got to rescue me. Yeah. We see we floated down. He couldn't do that as a human. No. Um, and, but the ending could have been better. They could have showed a better ending. They just showed Splinter turning human in, in April. Oh, good job, guys. And, and that's it. Like, come on, man. It could have been a better ending. We guy could not be with us live, but here are some pre-recorded. Uh, pff, the whole thing's pre-recorded. But here's his part of the let's discuss of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles.
Hey everybody, it's the Wii Guy, and as you can tell, I didn't make it for the recording of the last part of the TMNT Let's Play slash Let's Discuss. But I still have something to say about the game, since, well, I started with at the beginning of this LP, so why don't I just make a Let's Discuss? Do a start, so what you think? <laughs> oh yeah! Anyway, so for me, TMNT was a game that, uh... I don't know, I wasn't too fond of it. It was one of the first games I actually uh, bought when I first got my NES hardware clone. But I was never too interested in it. I mean, I love the music, of course. I mean, we all can agree that the music is the best part. But I just was never too intrigued. I mean, the difficulty certainly got to me. I mean, I made it pretty far up to the Techno Jump, but up to that, it was just like, bam, I just couldn't get past it. But for what it is, I still enjoy it. I still like playing it, but I don't know. It's, it's a bit of mixed feelings for this game. But I still like it, of course. But I, that's pretty much all I have to say about the game. I mean, it follows, I guess, the comics pretty well. It's got a great soundtrack, the controls, while maybe a bit, you know, clunky or wonky at times, they're they're pretty nice. And of course, Donatello is OP. So with that, I will probably have to give this game about maybe a 6 out of 10. Not as great as the next two TMNT games that followed, but hey, it was still a nice starter. So there we go. This is the Wii Guy. Out! And so, but that's it. We are out of here with our LP of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is Ron Moore. And that's Turtles about it. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> that's about it. Turtles in the half shell, Turbo. All right. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> God bless. Take care.